So I'm here at Bush Tech and it's been a while but it hasn't been too long. Uh, we were busy working on development of the gull wings and the draw system on the Jimny and prior to that, it's actually I was here as a customer for my Amarok. I'd ordered a Hammerite frame with silver doors for my single cab Amarok. It was an epic canopy and that was my introduction to overlanding and everything that comes with overlanding. It gave me a space in the back of my vehicle to kit out with fridges and batteries and all of those things. So it's quite epic to come full circle again now with the new Hilux and we're going to be going full Monty on it, doing a full bush tech setup. We're going to do a big installation. We've got drawer systems going in, we've got the canopy going in, we're going to be putting in cupboards, everything. If you thought the gull wing and the slide on the Jimny were cool, you haven't seen anything yet. We're going the whole hog on this bush tech setup. So I'm super keen for that. It's going to be a really difficult wait for the next three weeks while the car's in panel beating, but it's going to be so worth it. Welcome to another episode of Rome Over Landing. My name is Adrian Abrahams and last week the Hilux completed its transformation and we took a good look at the new color. Now we head over to Bush Tech Aluminium Canopies and turn it into an Overlander. So I'm back at Bush Tech and today they're going to start assembling the canopy and we're going to be getting ready to install everything on the new Hilux. I cannot wait to see how all of this comes together. You know, the canopy's been through, it's been painted at body line um, to color match it to the vehicle. So we get a nice seamless look across the vehicle. Today we're going to start putting on the doors, we're going to start putting on the roof rails, uh, getting the gas shocks on and start accessorizing it and getting it ready for installation on the Hilux as soon as possible. I always love getting to see how things are made. To see the real amount of effort that goes into making these products. And often we get so caught up on just the price and how the product is marketed. But we forget about the hands that actually crafted them. The canopies move through so many different stages, get worked on by so many different people. But Bushtech's team have been doing this for years and they've turned it into a fine art. It was so awesome to see this naked aluminium frame start to take shape and get all of the little touches to make a Bushtech canopy the legend that it is. These canopies are renowned for their excellent dust and water seal. So even the continuous hinge, door rubbers, and special base rubbers are all designed to handle rough off-road conditions. Now I have chosen quite a few extras for my canopy, like a rear cab slider, 6mm reinforced rear glass, and instead of Bush Tech's normal LED lights, I've gone for the National Lunar Touch Lights. I also went with the additional insulation to help regulate the temperature in the vehicle by almost 20 degrees Celsius. And now, just the finishing touches, and all we need to do is put it on the vehicle and start putting on the big accessories. Making it the perfect upgrade to the Hilux, considering where this vehicle is going in the future. So what we're going to do now, just to kind of kick off the installation of all of the Bush Tech stuff, is we're going to install the dust seal kit for the tailgate, and then we're also going to block up, because in a tub of a, of a bucky, you've got, actually have gaps underneath the sill here. Huge, massive gaps that when you're driving on corrugated roads and any dirt roads, it's just going to pull dust into the back of your tub. So it's important to, if you're going to be sealing up everywhere else and putting on a dustproof canopy like a Bush Tech, you need to be able to seal up all of these little gaps underneath here as well. So we'll do all of this stuff today, let everything dry, and then we'll continue our installation once that's all done. The dust seal kit will form the foundation of what's to come. Having a clean, sealed environment for the drawer system to sit in, keeping the fridge and all the other valuables clean on those long off-road trips. Now, currently they do need to drill into the tub to safely mount the drawer system. However, the attention to detail they've paid to the process was impressive. Primer and painting the drill holes to prevent any future rust is an important step with rubberizing because it has a tendency to rust underneath the rubberizing and you don't even know it's happening. Add 
adding the stainless steel section to the tailgate will give me an additional working area when I'm out in the bush. Now, the draw system will form the base of the rear setup, accommodating a 55 litre water tank behind it, as well as my National Lunar Green Box and Legacy Fridge when necessary. But also not to mention giving me plenty of packing space, and this really transforms the big cavity of a tub into a really versatile packing area. The drawers are securely mounted to the base of the tub with multiple bolts and brackets, ensuring its strength and stability for use off-road. I've gone for an asymmetrical drawer system with one large and one small drawer. The large drawer even has ventilation holes to ensure your fridge runs efficiently once it's tied down to the built-in lashing points. It is then covered with a carpeted top deck, allowing me to lash down more equipment on top of the platform, giving me more options for packing once it's all covered up, and it just gives it a really nice professional finish. It's time to put on the canopy. It's a moment of truth to see everything kind of come together, see the colors, how does it look. Then they're gonna start putting all the accessories inside the canopy. I'm very excited. Let's get going. Now, the moment of truth to see the new canopy go on. and Bushtech have actually developed a way to mount the canopy to the tub without any drilling, yet still giving it fantastic weight carrying capacity, which will be essential for the next week's episode, as well as giving me confidence in my vehicle on and off-road. It was awesome to see the canopy finally on. I think the color combination looks really, really great. Now all we gotta do, pop in all the accessories and we are ready to start packing this vehicle for a weekend of camping. So tomorrow we're going to be heading over to Easy On, putting on all the tents and awnings and all of that stuff and this vehicle's really going to turn into an awesome overlander. Now one of my favorite things about Bushtex canopies is the ability to customize them and because of the modularity of it all you can really cater it to your needs quite easily whether it's camping or for work. And my number one accessory has to be their table bracket. And the stainless steel table it holds is just so convenient. But I also wanted to go with a double cupboard setup, one with the kitchen and the other just empty so I have some space to play around with. Next up is the medium storage box and ammo box holder. This gives you storage under the false floor as well as room to secure ammo boxes or other gear. All of these extras just turn the space into a more versatile setup where I can securely store camping or camera gear. Another nice little addition is the drop down table, which just easily secures on the canopy and using a high quality rubber foot leans against the vehicle. But when not needed, it just slides into a little canvas bag on the outside of the cupboard. And then the addition of the roof mounted cargo net allows you to keep some of your soft camping gear like jackets and pillows out of the way, keeping your packing space clean and efficient. But I must say I am also loving the addition of some white and red as well as white and amber combination lights. But I must say what an awesome transformation. Now with the setup that we're running inside the canopy here, you know, Bushtech have kind of overhauled the whole back there. We've got a 55 liter water tank. We've got the double draw system, which can hold up to 90 liter National Lunar fridge. We've got the dual battery system in there now. We just need to just connect that up to the main battery. We've got lights, we've got storage space for spares, for dry food, for everything we're gonna need. We've got the little hose run out to the tailgate for you know, utilizing the water tank. So there's a lot of stuff that we've got going on now that's really pushing this vehicle towards becoming an awesome overlander. What a crazy transformation today. It's so awesome finally getting to see these puzzle pieces come together on the Hilux. You know, from, from color coding the canopy, to picking the color of the doors, to picking all of the accessories inside. Ah, oh, what a privilege to work with a company like Bushtech. 
the quality of their products and you can you can see it you've seen it in the video throughout the entire installation through some of the assembly of the products it's top-notch stuff and I am very grateful to have this kit on the vehicle going forward to me you can see the vision come together when you see it like this when you see the canopy on here when you open it up and you know you look inside and it's just it's phenomenal i'm so so keen to start playing around with the setup kitting it out getting it ready for my overlanding trips because it's been a while now that we haven't had the Jimny. and the Jimny was pretty dialed in at the point where i was and i could do some really nice trips with it but having this setup right now this vehicle's an overlander now just having this, I've got my own water, we've got the battery in here, we can load a fridge in here, we've got cupboards for storage, we've got our little kitchen unit over here. If we have a look over here, you know, kitchen, table, extra storage space there. We've got lighting all around the vehicle at all, all the doors. So on this side of the vehicle, we've got obviously another door. We've got an empty box here. Um, and this I need to figure out what exactly I'm going to put in here. Some people will put in recovery equipment Some people will put in power stuff. Let's see. I'm going to play around with it and see what I kind of feel Maybe it'll be camera equipment for me um, Then over here we've got Another storage. So this is a whole long box that goes across there So you can remove the dividers if you want to store longer stuff, maybe chairs. I've gone with white and amber lights here so amber is obviously to get rid of bugs and things like that, keep bugs out of your campsite. And then there's, in here you're gonna see this foam, the spongy foam, this is actually insulation. And this actually can drop the temperature inside the canopy here by 20 degrees. So that's gonna take a lot of strain off of your camping fridge. It's gonna just make it a lot more pleasant in here in general. On the back, just to help with the camping fridge again, I've got a cab slider here. It's not to access into the cab um, at all. It's really just to crack that open on a 45 degree day and get some of that hot air to escape the vehicle. So there's a lot of little thought and effort that's gone into you know, the bush deck accessories here. I'm keen to start slowly using them and getting the hang of it and figuring out where I want all of my stuff to go. I mean, you could chuck a tent in here, chuck in your camping chairs, all of that stuff and head out on an adventure tomorrow with a standard vehicle. There's no suspension upgrade, there's no bumpers, there's no nothing. Obviously, this is Rome Overlanding and uh, this is part, you know, one of the overlanding transformation. This stage right now, I'm blown away. Seeing it all come together, seeing the aesthetic that I've been planning all along, all of those pieces come together, I'm, I'm really over the moon. I hope you guys have enjoyed kind of seeing this whole process come together and everything. It's been quite strenuous to film. It's a lot of hours. The team here at Bushtech works so hard to put these products together. And it's been an honor to kind of follow them through that process and see all of the hard work that goes into putting these products together. We're really gonna to start to get into it and have a closer look at it when we get out into the bush, we start using it. So if you guys have any questions about the canopy, please make sure to leave them down below in the comments and then I'll be sure to try and answer as many of those questions as possible once we get out there and we start using the canopy setup and the draw system and all of that stuff. But thank you so much for tuning in and watching this episode of Roam Over Landing and you know, a huge thank you to Bush Tech for their support. This is now where we start really building out our overlanding rig and getting ready to roam. Join us next week when we head over to Easy Awn and we install the rooftop tent, the awning, the roof rack and turn this vehicle into an awesome camper. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next episode of Roam Overlanding. Cheers. Thanks for watching another episode of Roam Overlanding. I would love to hear what you think of the new canopy setup down below. I also want to take a moment to thank my awesome patrons for their support. And if you want to join in on our weekly live streams and get early access to videos, you should head over to Patreon and become a member. On the next episode of Roam Over Landing, we head over to Easy Horn and get the Harlux ready for camping. Rooftop tent, here we come. I also want to thank my incredible sponsors for making all of this possible. Anyways, I'll see you next week.